welcome to your one sports tv channel i am financial latest in soccer i am family this is our first update for the day later today and the more update you can look forward to the black sunlight of ghana our more final game of money at the falcons of nigeria they call copy so it is the final of the 2024 one under 20 uh, championship of course so we'll bring you an update of that game live uh here the match and the match highlight you can look forward to it our second update of the day we have learned that black stars head coach Otuado has already selected his players for the next two games in a qualified for the 2025 afcon uh, the defenders right backs we bring you an update on that and then uh, whether those players will be coming they are deserving of their collapse or we need more right backs in the black stars we'll bring you that update in, the, in this update we focus on the five key players uh, coach Otuado must build the black stars around Mohamed Kudus obviously is the main man for the national team at the moment in terms of quality in terms of potential in terms of talent he is one of the best at the moment coach Otuado will need to build the black stars around him and uh, four other players will bring you uh, their names and then we also uh, ask that you share your comment which other player now will take, we believe is a black stars you know uh, should be built around them you can feel free to recommend one or two players in the comment section please subscribe to your one sports tv channel after subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification button by clicking on the bell beneath the video once that is done you will get a post notification once we upload new videos on the channel uh, do what to also share the video for others to also uh, get themselves updated and uh, here is a one sports tv channel in terms of your more remote for your finance the latest in sankara yamfa emremo our channel so the black stars of ghana will return to action next month november uh, for all the last two games in the qualifiers for the 2025 uh, Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Unfortunately, the things are not looking very good for the Black Stars because after playing four games in Group F, Ghana currently has just uh, two points uh, from uh, that uh, a possible two off. Uh, it is a, a bad performance of the Black Stars, and obviously, if you look at the current standings, uh, with Ghana played third in Group F, it is almost impossible. And for me, the Black Stars have no chance of qualifying for the 2025 AFCON. We must focus on building a solid team that can qualify for the 2026 FIFA World Cup in Estet. Now, whilst we look to rebuild the Black Stars, it is important the coach of the side, Otuado, builds his team around some key players. Uh, every team has a main leader. It could be the captain. But also the team must have players in key department, be it the goalkeeping department, the defensive department, the midfield, the rings, and the attack as well. So five players that the coach will need to build his team around so that if the boy is in defense, you have a leader out there who will not ever detect the play of the game. When the boy is in midfield, there should be that key man who will pick up the pieces, who will do the dirty work, who will swing in the passes keep the flow of the game when it goes to the ring as well you need the player when things go top that winger will be able to take on two or three players the defense of the opponent before setting up the striker to score in the striking department as well you have you need a striker if you are building a strong team that striker should be able to score goals out of nothing that striker should be able to convert chances that striker should be a threat even when the ball is not at his feet so we are looking at all these things and hopefully by the end of this video you know we will have all those five players that we just uh, talked about so let's get into this update here but in the first department we will go into the goalkeeping department coach Otto Ado needs to build his new black star side around a Sunday color goalkeeper Frederick Asari this may sound controversial but if you look at the material that we have in the goalkeeping department currently it is the best time for us to try trusting a local goalkeeper, a goalkeeper from the Ghana Premier League. Yesterday, we brought you some update and we did uh, talk a bit about these things. Now, if you look at the current goalkeepers in the Black Star squad, in the last two, three quarters that has been made by uh, whoever has been in charge of the Black Stars, be it uh, Coach uh, Otoado or Coach uh, Chris Hutton, we have seen them calling consistently Lawrence Satizigi, Joseph Wolakot, and then a goalkeeper from the local league, be it uh, Frederick Asari or any other goalkeeper that has been available. Now, these three key goalkeepers on a good day will make some decent saves. But the goalkeeper that has been trusted as our number one has been Lorenz Atizigi. The only problem is Atizigi is not a trusted goalkeeper. He has his qualities, he is good sometimes, but he's not good when you need him the most. And that is why Enra, the update that I brought to you, you know, we talked about how in the last 10 games for club and country, Atizigi has conceded over 15 goals 
And if you look at the goals that he has considered and the saves that he has been able to make, uh, to make they don't tally. And it is not telling of a goalkeeper who can be trusted with a national team like the Black Stars, who last won a trophy in 1982 when they picked up their fourth AFCON trophy. Now, if you want to end that AFCON drought, we need to build a team that does not only have good players, we need a team that also has a very good goalkeeper that can be trusted to save us in difficult situations. And over the past two years, Lorenz Atsisgi has proven that he is not that goalkeeper and we can definitely not trust him. So it is about time Coach Otoado or whoever the GFA will appoint in the coming months should make that shift away from trusting goalkeeper Lorenzo Atisigi to be the number one goalkeeper for the Black Stars. Joseph Willacourt, he plays in the lower divisions in England. Definitely, that is not a goalkeeper you want to be your first choice in a national team like the Black Stars. So what are the other options? In times past when Ghana Black Stars won four Afghan trophies, we always had a local goalkeeper. When the Black Stars were the Black Stars, when the Black Stars qualified for the first World Cup, we had goalkeepers like Sami J, uh, Richard Olele Kingston. These were goalkeepers who had made their names in the local game. Although Olele Kingston had, was playing in Europe at the time, he was a goalkeeper that was also tried, tried and tested from the local league as well. So obviously, history tells us that we need a goalkeeper that is from the local league. Let's build the confidence of that goalkeeper. Let's give them the opportunity to also show what they can do for the Black Stars. And Frederick Asari of Asande Koroko, is the perfect pick at the moment he's in good form he keeps clean sheet he makes amazing saves he's one goalkeeper that we can trust and then build his confidence to become the number one for the black stars and uh, player number two that the black stars should be built around him i hope you are listening uh, jerome opoku is a defender and he plays his football in turkey jerome opoku over the past a few uh, uh, years you know has also improved his game significantly currently he's just 26 years of age he plays his football for istanbul but sex uh he's not only a good defender he knows how to uh, go in there and score goals as well last season he played 24 games for istanbul but sex career he scored four goals and provided one assist this season he has played nine games for istanbul but sex career he has uh, played nine games, yes, he has scored one goal and provided two assists. So he's a defender who has that quality. He knows how to play the football. He knows how to defend. He knows how to pass. He's a very good defender that I believe we need to start building the Black Stars around him. Yes, we have top defenders like Mohamed Salisu and then Alexander Jiku. Sometimes they tend to uh, overthink. Sometimes they tend to be overconfident. And these are things that have not helped the Black Stars. So, in looking into the future, in building a very good team, you know, these days, football has changed. It's not all about boom-boom defending. You need to be smart. You need to know how to play the ball, lay a pass, even through balls, get the ball over the defense, and then put through your attacker to be able to score. So, this is a player who has proven that he has all those qualities. So, if you are building a very good defensive sider, Jerome Opoku is one player that should be in there. Even if he's not going to be uh starting all our games are we should start making him a key player for the black stars so that we will know that in the future this is the player who is going to be the main man for the black stars in defense he's a very very good defender that i must add the next player player number three a michael bedu michael bedu only had his debut with the black stars in the october international break when the black stars played a double header encounter against uh, sudan although he did not have much uh, time to prove his worth in europe he's not only excelling in the swedish uh, league with uh, uh, if elsborg in the europa league as well he's playing so well he's scoring in the last two games that elsborg has played in the europa league he has also got he has always gotten his name in, in the score sheet so michael bedu is one player that we also need to build the black stars around thomas Partey has been our key uh, main midfielder in the past five years or so but currently, the performance never done. Even at Arsenal, they are now using him as a right back. Maybe, maybe he, he's lost this as a midfielder. But I still think that he's, he has the quality. But looking at his age, you know, he's not the player that we can rely on for years to come. So if you have Michael Bale, who is now just 25 years, at least he has five years before he will clock 30. Uh, Thomas Partey has clocked 30 already. So this is a midfielder that we can also build the black stars around it. At his age and at the quality and the top performance that he is putting, you know, in the next five years, if he's able to improve, he's able to add up to his gamer, he will become 
very 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 fantastic for me for that that will help the black stars in our game cyber but if you look at the record sir in the 2022 football season if Ellsbrook, he played 21 games he scored eight goals he provided two assists last year he played 28 games scored five goals and provided six assists this season he has been in top form his best form of the year sir with him about football 27 games 10 goals five assists so it tells you clearly there is no midfielder Ghanaian midfielder or who we are see here Wobobo etching Michael Bedu. The statistics show that Michael Bedu is the best Black Stars midfielder and is among the best Black Stars players at the moment. So if Coach Otuado is selecting players and does not include Michael Bedu, Coach Otuado does not know what he's doing. He's just doing Yenye Bimayanshe and it is very bad. That is why when people say that Coach Otuado needs to be sacked, I totally agree 100%. So Michael Bedu definitely if you are building a strong blaster squad he should be the man playing in the midfield and then making things happen for the national team mohammed kudus we will not talk much about kudus because we all know his quality regardless of the recent record they buy a beautiful situation from the camp of the black stars you now kudus is the most talented ghana player that we have at the moment there are so many talented players but if you want talent raw talent polish talent quality power skills pace power goal scoring kudus is there his only shortcoming and as a negative side is the fact that when he gets to the opponent's 18 area, he does not try to make plays. Making plays simply means passing the ball to your, or your, your, your colleague or your teammate who is in a better position to score. He does not do through balls. He does not uh, think about making assists. He is too focused on scoring and making a name for himself. Maybe, maybe, but you cannot take it from him that he's the best Ghana player that we have at the moment. And with a little bit of uh, talking to uh, if he becomes more of a team player more more of i want to score i want to make the fans enjoy themselves he will become definitely one of the greatest ghana players uh, yet team at great so kudus should be the main man and i was very happy when he was made captain of the black stars although i still think that jordan you should have been made captain of the black stars but if kudus is made captain of the black stars and we are looking into the future definitely the players will look up to him and give him all the support for him to also lead the black stars to uh, impress and then do well and win so many games and hopefully uh, we will be able to win enough trophy before mohammed kudus also uh, retires the final player is hey, prince edu kwabana prince edu kwabana was named an 20 golden boy by a magazine in europe uh, when he was coming up at Spechem United and it was predicted say in the next 10 years you know if you are looking at young players who may take over footballer Prince Edu Kwabena will be part and Abrantana shall see a show signs of that potential because if you look at Prince Edu Kwabena currently he plays his football for Victoria Pelsen or a Czech Republic and the numbers that he has started putting up you know, is very impressive he has played seven games for Victoria Pelsen currently four goals in the last two games that Prince Edu Kwabena has played for Victoria Pearl, you know, he has always scored. And he's gradually picking up. He's settling in very well for Victoria Pearl. And, and he's one striker whose quality is ability to create space for himself, a run onto through balls, and he's very clinical. So if you give him five chances in a game, he's likely to score a hat-trick. This is a player who was so exceptional for Bechem United, even at the age of 17 when he was playing for Bechem in the Ghana Premier League. So, he's one player that if you're able to polish, if you're able to bring him into the Black Stars, he's just 21 years. If you're able to give him the opportunity and the guidance, he will become a very good striker for the Black Stars in the future to come. Prince Edu Kwabena, remember this name. We will bring, we'll bring the update today to an end. This is our first update of the day. Later in the day, the Black Star Light of Ghana will come up against Nigeria in the final of the 2025 Wafu Zombie Under-20 Championship. Afterwards, now, we we'll bring you more update on the Black Stars. So we will build up to our final two games against Angola and Niger in the qualifiers for the 2025 AFCON. Please like the video, share your views on the video, comment, subscribe and Turn on the notification button by clicking on the bell in the video. Until the next update, everyone, please do well and stay safe.